Start with the player introductions for Buford Academy. Number one, Devontae Green. Number two, Jackson Porter. Number five, Zeke Gonzalez. Number 12, Braden Deenan. And number 25, Sully Gay. And starting for your Dolphins, number one, Andrew Helms. Number three, JJ Hayes. Number four, Ryan Mikkel. Number five, Sean Cassano. And number 11, Kay Needs. And head coach, Jerry Faulkner. From Coach Basirico Court at the College Gymnasium, it's the Guys Game of the Week, presented by Summit Services Heating and Air, the title sponsor for guys and girls basketball all year long on WHHI Sports. It's Hilton Head Prep taking on Buford Academy. Hilton Head Prep comes in at 18 and two, eight and zero at home, and the Buford Academy Eagles at 25 and six, and playing pretty well on the road themselves. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Maria Soden. With you, our starting lineups, Andrew Elms, J.J. Hayes, Ryan Mickel, Sean Cusano, and Kane Eames for the home team of Hilton Head Prep as they've got the basketball to get us underway here at Pacall Gymnasium and for Buford Academy, some late additions and subtractions as that shot's going to miss and it's going to B.A. in the blue. It's Devontae Green, Jackson Porter, Braden Deneen, Sully Gay, and I missed another one as that's gonna go. So I'll get the fifth player for you here in a second as going inside and getting a little bit of a bump was Hilton Head Prep. The call is a jump ball. And because these Dolphins had the tip, they're gonna give it away here on the jump. Looks like for Buford Academy, Sully Gay is in there. Braden Deneen, number five. Ezekiel, I, I uh, didn't mark it well. Ezekiel Gonzalez, number five, is the other starter. So it goes Green, Porter, Gonzalez, Deneen, and Gay to start for BA. And it's 2-0 in favor of the home team as Buford Academy has the basketball again, 25 and six on the year. Driving inside, trying to dish it in as beautiful passing there from number 25, Sully Gay to Jackson Porter. And Deneen finishes it with a three as it's going back the other way. Drive on the inside, put it up and in as HHP delivers. Back and forth we go. That was JJ Hayes, he's a heck of a shooter. Here's a jumper for B.A. not gonna go down for Braden Deneen. And it's going back to Hayes. He has grown a ton in the last year or so as he drives inside hard and puts some contact on Braden Deneen, number 12, the quarterback for Buford Academy. Our coach is Jerry Faulkner and Nick Field. And Jerry has been around the block a lot. Nick Field, the former athletic director for Buford Academy, as Hilton Head Prep has possession of the basketball. Driving inside was J.J. Hayes. He gives it up. Nice pass. Goes inside. Put that up and down for number four, Ryan McKell. Reminder that Summit Services Heating and Air is the title sponsor for basketball, football, and WHHI sports weekends every Saturday and Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. Want to thank them for their leadership in air conditioning, heating, and performance services for your home in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Buford. Nice drive inside, put that up and down is number 12, Braden Deneen, and it's quickly six to five with 5.20 to go. Our officials, Bob Pinelli, Chad Mayles, and Ernie Mobley, Kevin, we've got a heck of a game and a heck of a start here with 5-12 remaining. Marcus, get ready. This thing's going fast. It most certainly is. 
Six to five, five eleven remaining in the first quarter. Let's hear from Mickelson Law Firm. Mickelson Law Firm, knowing their community and clients as they help to navigate life's trials. Mickelson Law Firm. Kane Eanes at the free throw line after the Jackson Porter foul. Eanes fires and knocks it down. Seven to five. And in for the Eagles, number 11, Timmy Horgan. 13.6 rebounds, four steals against Calton Prep. Knocking that down, and it's eight to five. So eight to five, and here goes the Buford Academy Eagle offense, not able to make that, going back the other way. Number five with it at his shot. Oh, Cusano wow. turned Holy over. Cow. Look out, here goes Buford Academy. Nice passing and putting that up and in. Often Andrew Helms' assist is number 11, Kane Eames. Check that number 11 at the other side, Timmy Horgan. So Devontae Green to Timmy Horgan, and it's eight to seven with 435 remaining in the opening quarter. Nice pass goes from J.J. Hayes to Sean Cusano, and Cusano, the big man, gets bumped inside, 4.31 to go. Again, a reminder, our officials, Bob Pinelli, Chad Mayles, and Ernie Mobley. Let's hear from Hilton Head Capital Partners. Hilton Head Capital Partners, navigating you to financial freedom. And Cusano made it. Let's again hear from Mickelson Law Firm. Mickelson Law Firm, knowing their community and clients as they help to navigate life's trials. Nine to seven, a reminder that ankle foot a island Foot and Ankle Clinic is one step ahead of your foot and ankle pain. They're a timeout sponsor for us this year. Putting that up and down, got it to go. I want to thank Joseph Keith and Jeremy Pope for their work on the broadcasts this year. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Giacomo, Maria Soden with you here from Coach Pacirico Court at Bacala Gymnasium. Hilton Head Prep on defense. Working with it now is number 25. That's Sully Gay. He is a three-generation uh, basketball player heading to college. College of Charleston looking after him. Had, a, had his dad and granddad play at Landers and Furman. Holy cow. 10 to seven, 4.03 remaining. In quarter number one and number one, Andrew Helms touching it for Ilnet Prep. We've got a whistle with four minutes even on the clock. Should you take a look at Sean Cusano coming down this way. He is a big dude. Yes, sir. Number 12 with a basketball, Braden Deneen. He's gonna fire it off. There's a jumper way strong for Timmy Horgan. Here goes HHP. Beautiful glide to the stride on the left side. Putting it up and down is J.J. Hayes. 12 to seven, Hilton Ed Prep with the lead. And it's turned over, going back the other way. Here's Cusano. He's gonna use that big frame, put it up on the left side, got it to go. He's averaging 11.6 rebounds a game. 3.3 blocks, J.J. Ace, 15.8 points and 3.4.3 uh, assists per game. That jumper goes and cuts the deficit down to four, 14 to 10, as Braden Deneen, the former quarterback, also a baseball player for Buford Academy, puts it down here on the hardwood. Three minutes remaining. Jerry Faulkner, very philosophical, has the background in coaching. We were talking about it off air, even made a DVD about coaching. Has a lot of great keys, and as that shot goes off to the left side or right side from JJ Hayes, 2.47 to go. He's, he's very big about communicating, playing for the team, certainly trusting everybody and uh, everybody trusting each other, that is. Nick Field's done a great job as the head coach of the Buford Academy guys as well, former athletic director of Buford Academy. The current AD's Eric Matheson for Hilton Head Prep. And for Buford Academy, William Howell is basketball's gonna go out of bounds. For BA, you see 35 Marion Wilson, six foot six, he's in the game, they matched him right up with the big guy, Sean Cusano. 2.22 remaining in the first quarter. Nice pass inside. And this one's gonna go out of bounds. Our headmasters are John Hoffman and Dan Durbin for HHP and BA respectively. We saw 
John's daughter, Haley, in the girls' presentation, going inside, putting that up and in off the side is number 11, Kane Eames. From the right side, little dish towards the left side of the rim, and it went down the strings. Driving quickly now is number five for Buford Academy. That is Ezekiel Gonzalez, 16, 10, two minutes to go. Let's hear from Serve Pro, Buford County. Serve Pro, Buford County, faster than any size disaster. It's like it never even happens. 16-10. I like watching BA move the ball here. Uh, they're going through their guards for offense. Gonzalez trying to get around Helms. Does, puts it up, trying to get his own there for is. a second chance. Can't, but there to corral it is Amarian Wilson. And Amarian Wilson, the big guy, has been filling up the stat sheet as well over the last several ball games. Can't go without saying he is the single game scoring leader for BA. Off the bench as a freshman. Nice move, kid. 18 to 12 as Kane Eads puts it down. 8 and 0 at home is Hilton at prep. They're 10 and 2 on the road. They've scored 1296. They've given up 849. They're riding a 14 game winning streak with a win percentage of 90%. Here's Wilson going inside. Oh, get that out of here! Put that down, SWAT City, and finishing strong to the hole after the block is number three, J.J. Hayes. That was Sean Cusano with the block. Hayes didn't get it to go, but he's going to the line for two. Buford Academy commits the foul, and that's Sully Gate committing it. Buford Academy 12 and two at home, eight and two on the road. They've scored 1,808 points, given up 1,264. They've got a one-game losing streak, a winning percentage of 80%, 24 and six, seven and one, and in first place in their region. And Hilton Head Prep in their region off the uh, 18 and two success. They are one and one. This is this is a non-region ball game, as it was with the girls. You don't think about that much, but it is true. Amarian Wilson, 6'6", 250. He just checked out of the game, but when you're 6'6", six, six, you're not really used to getting the ball swatted like that. 20 to 12. One minute remaining in the quarter. Nice pass goes to number 34. That is Adil Gonzalez. That shot won't go. Corralling it is Hilton Head Prep. Getting up slowly is number two, Ben Frey. But he is up and at it, driving, gliding to the hole, not able to get that pass off, but corralling it nicely off a bounce from the hardwood is Hilton Head Prep. 33 seconds left. There's a drive and a turnover. 20 to 12, 28 seconds left. There's a three, left side, a little bit too strong. And the rebound goes to number 15, Connor Campbell. Inside 20 seconds, playing for one shot. Hayes with the basketball. Hayes trying to get around a man. That is number 12, Braden Deneen. Ball loose, down to eight seconds. Working it on the left side. Touching it is Kane Eanes. That's gonna come up short. And here goes B.A. There's a long one, and it doesn't go! Ring around the rim a couple of times and out. Attempted by Ezekiel Gonzalez. It's 20 to 12 HHP at the end of one on WHHI Sports TV. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment.
Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions, responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry. Owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner and Financial Advisor of Hilton Head Capital Partners, a local registered investment advisory firm. Since 1987, we have provided our preferred clients with custom portfolio management for growth and income. With the new presidential term, the investment market is an exciting opportunity for you to explore new horizons and options. Plus, don't forget working on your taxes and estate planning at this time of the year. It's a time when uncertainty spreads faster than understanding. It's also a time when taking steps to prepare can help us all find a sense of security. At ServPro, helping our nation's homes, businesses, and shared spaces be more clean, be more safe, is why we're here. Here in your community, here to help. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center. And for Bluffton, Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Welcome back to Hilton Head Preps, McCalla Gymnasium, Coach Basirico Court. Rich Basirico, the former athletic director of Hilton Head Prep. We hope to have some programming with him here soon for you on WHHI Sports and WHHI TV. I want to thank Jessa Jeremiah, Lisa Richardson, Wayne Morris, Latia Nelson. Zach Washburn is going inside as JJ Hayes put that up and down. The call is going to be a common foul on the floor. 20 to 12, 7.42 to go. That fine staff helps get these broadcasts to you on the air. There's a three ball in and out. The attempt of the Mickelson Law Firm three point play didn't go. Driving inside there off the rebound was Hilton Head Prep. As Cusano going to the free throw line to attempt two. Again, we thank our title sponsor for basketball, football, WHHI sports weekends, and more. Hilton Head, uh, or rather Summit Services Heating and Air as the leading air conditioning, heating and home performance service partner in Hilton Head, Bluffton and Beaufort. We thank them for all they do for us on WHHI Sports TV. Let's hear from Mickelson Law Firm. Mickelson Law Firm, knowing their community and clients as they help to navigate life's trails. Cusano, man. goes, 22 to 12, 7.35 remaining in the quarter. 20 to 12 was the score at the end of one. As Buford Academy loses it, still loose, picked up by J.J. Hayes, and he kicks it over to number two, Ben Frey. J.J. Hayes, eight points, two boards. Cassano, 6'7", buck 95, has a block. And Wilson, 6'6", 250. He's a freshman and a dandy at that. That might be about the size, and he's obviously shorter, but I'm thinking of, like, Shaquille O'Neal back at LSU. He was probably a little bigger than 250, but I don't think he really grew into his full, just huge self until he got through to the Lakers. There's a great movie called Blue Chips. Shaq and Penny Hardaway as actors, love it. Connor Campbell's getting it. Go get it, buddy. 15. 23 to 12. Just a freshman. I like seeing him on the floor. Very impressive for Connor Campbell. Point guard freshman, 5'10", 150. Ball is up for Hilton Head, or for uh, Buford Academy. Second chance, put that up and down. SBA trying to get back into it. Number 10, Gavin Midyet puts it up 
He's got one more coming from the line. Could be a Mickelson law for three-point play. And the foul was on A.J. Barter, former football player back in the fall and mid yet again at the line. 23 to 14, 705 to go. Let's hear from uh, Serve Pro of Buford County. Serve Pro of Buford County. Faster to any size disaster. It's like it never even happens. And Capital Partners of Hilton Head. Capital Partners of Hilton Head, navigating you to financial freedom. It's actually Hilton Head Capital Partners. Ah, uh, you're right. The, the Capital Partners just came out first. So we thank Hilton Head Capital Partners for all they do. 23 14, 701 remaining here in the first half. I like having Wilson on the floor, if only because he gives Cusano something to think about. We saw Sean yeah. Cusano get a flat footed rebound on the other side of the floor. I like seeing Wilson on him. Here's BA with the basketball. They're working it inside, putting it up and putting it down is number 25, Sully Gay. Well done. He had 15 points, five boards, four steals versus Gallatin Prep recently. 23-16, and here go the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins. Here's number five, Sean Cusano. Cusano swinging it around. Nice pass goes inside, putting that up a little bit short from the left side for J.J. Ace. I can't get over how much J.J. Ace has grown. Yeah. He has certainly grown in the last year or so. With a basketball number five, Ezekiel Gonzalez. Gonzalez on a drive, nice touch as he puts it over top of Ben Frey. Didn't get it to go, but he's going to the line with 6.15 remaining in the quarter. Just a sophomore, five foot eight. Nice handle, I like his composure. I like the way he kind of, you know, seems to be that, that floor general on offense. Yeah. At the line is Gonzalez, makes the first. A reminder that Island Foot and Ankle Clinic is one step ahead of your foot and ankle pain. And let's hear from Sports Addiction as well. Sports Addiction, your Bluffton bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. Put that down for number five, Ezekiel Gonzalez, 23-18, 6-12 to play. Call him Midas. Hey, pardon. He's got nice touch, Midas. Yeah. Here's number three, J.J. Hayes. Working on him is number two, actually number three, Devin Fripp. Hayes, jumper, ring around the rim and it falls from right to left. And it's 25 to 18, 546 remaining in the first half. A very eventful, fast paced, excellently paced and well played first half. Wilson kicks it out. There's a three and it's not gonna go down for number five for Buford Academy, Ezekiel Gonzalez. Grabbing the rebound was number five, Sean Cusano. That came off in Amari and Wilson. Rebound and put back. There's a three from the right side, too strong. Okay. Tipped up, and here we go. BA's got it. Trying to cut the deficit from five, maybe to three, maybe to two. The momentum has shifted. There's a jumper for Sully Gay. Off the mark. Nice rebound. Getting the hops is Ben Frey. He kicks it over to, I beg your pardon, it was Jackson Porter, Devontae Green as well. Touching it. Traveling is the call. Mikel and Eames back in there and Braden Deneen back in as well. He's a big difference maker, Deneen. I like him a lot. 4.52 remaining in the first half. 25-20 our score. Where the basketball is Andrew Helms, number one for HHP. Swinging it over, Ryan Mikel. Nice passing. And Hilton Head Prep trying to find a little seam through this defensive zone. Driving inside, wow. putting it up with a right hand no from Sean Cusano, and it's going back the other way. There's a three, a little bit too strong off of Braden Deneen. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to go up near us as you see us here on, the, uh, on your television screen. I'm Marcus. He's Kevin. And Larry with us as well here on the stage of Coach Basir Cocorda Pacala Gymnasium. I love the matchup inside. 4.15 to go. Maria Soden with us as well. There's a jumper, Sully Gay, not going to go down. There Tipped it is up. again. And there we go again. But that matchup on action. the box, we're talking about Cusano versus Wilson. It's been big time. It certainly has. 
as you take a look inside at us. As number five, the inbound, that's Cusano. Gets it over to number one, Andrew Holmes. Cusano. Going to dish it off. Here's J.J. Hayes driving inside, put that up and down. Count it, one more coming from the free throw line as J.J. Hayes delivers and a chance at a Mickelson Law Firm three-point play. That was a huge physical play. Sully Gay commits the foul, his third. And J.J. Hayes taking it strong to the rack. We've got a timeout with 3.53 to go in the first half. 27-20. In favor of the home team, back with more right after this timeout. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Let's go outside again. Let's breathe in the fresh air. Let's hit it out of the park. Let's be human beings again. To run and jump and play. We'll talk and laugh as loud as we can. Then we'll laugh some more. Because the YMCA is here and we're ready to welcome you back. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. We welcome you back 27 to 20. J.J. Hayes in his second year playing for Coach Faulkner at Hilton Head Prep. Committed to the United States Merchant Marine Academy to play basketball in college. Due to some vision issues, he's gonna end up decommitting and reopening his recruitment. On the honor roll, a member of the student council. He says playing for Coach Faulkner has been a great experience. He's learned so much in terms of life lessons and the game of basketball. All because of one Jerry Faulkner. Mickelson Law Firm is our three-point play sponsor, knowing their community and clients as they help to navigate life's trials. 28 to 20, 3.43 remaining in the first half. Jerry Faulkner says a big key to life, 86,400 seconds in a day. Yeah. Very important to use them. Yeah. And, and he's big on that. Like I mentioned earlier, big about Communication, commitment, certainly helping each other out. Just a, a great humanitarian. Putting that oh, up and down. Yeah. Nicely done for Braden Deneen. That is a Mickelson Law Firm three-point play. And it's 28-23 with 3.18 remaining as Hayes pass deflected. Look out, folks. That ball's coming in hot. Marion Wilson making his presence known. They are not getting that ball inside. Marion Wilson has been huge. 28-23, 3.14 remaining in the first half. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry, Jackamont, Maria Soden. Want to thank Joseph Keith and Jeremy Pope as well for helping us out with the camera this year. The rebounding difference with Wilson on the floor versus when he's on the bench is night and day. Certainly want to thank our anchors of Bob Stevens, Betsy McDaniel, and Robin Zimmerman for what they do with the news programs here on WHHI Sports and WHHI TV. That shot goes up and down. Count it for Deneen. Braden Deneen. He's a player. He is. 28-25. 
driving inside, putting that one up and getting it to roll down is number 11, Kane Eames. And it's 30 to 25 with 2.25 remaining in the first half of the ball game. There's a quick shot, a little bit off the mark for number 34, Adil Gonzalez. And it's going back to Hilton Head Prep. Prep's got it. And on a drive, beautiful pass. Oh, the passing. And finishing is Sean Cusano. Off the great pass from Andrew Helms. J.J. Hayes, 13 points. And Deneen, three points for B.A. Amarian Wilson commits the foul. Cusano's got a lot of skill. I like when they run the offense through him because there's not a lot of players in this league that can stand up to that size. And you see the level of touch this kid has. Nicely done. Gusano's been huge. 17 points, 11 rebounds, four assists. That's his average? In a, a game earlier this year. Ah. Had 19 and a half points in a couple of games total. He's just been big on the offensive side as the ball. Over. It's loose. We've got a whistle with 151 to go, 33-25. It's a backcourt violation. And Timmy Horgan coming in. Four fouls for the home team of Hilton Head Prep. Nine fouls for Buford Academy. Eight-point game as Andrew Helms touching the basketball. Swings it over and gets it back. He's thinking, and he... Is going with him and Ben Frey. There's a jumper in and out. Attempted by J.J. Hayes. Put back, no. Third chance, yes. You got to box him out. Oh, Wilson's Sean checking Cusano back. In the, yeah. With the two, Wilson back in. And it's turned over as Cusano's got it. He's on a drive. Put it up. No. Nope. And the foul. Yep. Travel. And a so, travel. Yeah, but coach saw enough just for that one play. Wilson's back in the game. And this is, you know, and it's now a 10 point game. I think that's going to be the biggest thing is can they yep. slow down Cusano? It's Bob Pinelli, Chad Mails, and Ernie Mobley, our officials, once again here tonight. Let's hear from Sports Addiction. Sports Addiction, your Bluffton Bike Sports and Fitness Equipment Store for over 20 years. Buford Academy with the basketball. Jumper wow. goes. That is a deep, deep three. Have a game. to 28. Brayden Deneen delivers, and there's a drive inside. Getting up slowly is number 11, Timmy Horgan. I like Horgan. I mean, he guys, I know he didn't get the call, but he's putting his body on the line. Yeah. It's a one on one situation, so we're going to get some shots off that. 57.1 to go in the first half here of the. Guys, Game of the Week, our final broadcast on WHHI Sports. We want to thank you, our viewers, for checking in all year. As the free throw goes, and it goes good for J.J. Hayes, nothing but nylon. 36-28, 57.1 seconds to go, and J.J. Hayes again going to the free throw line for shot number two. He dribbles, he fires, he knocks it down. And Deneen, 4-3, 16 points so far in this ball game. 37 to 28, that three way off the mark. And it's going back the other way with a whistle. 48.7 seconds to go as Nick Field is Keep shooting getting his guys shooting going. 48.7 seconds remaining. Cusano, five rebounds, 11 points, a block and a steal so far. And this one, as it's going to the way of Hilton Head Prep. Cusano, speaking up, kicks it over to Ben Frey, number two. Nice pass over to J.J. Hayes. Hayes trying to split through the defense. He can't because he's got a big man in his way. That's Brandon, Tra uh, yeah, Brandon Trapp. Going inside, not able to get that to go. Trapp nearly got the rebound, but he didn't, and it's put back. City for that jumper goes on a steal. And that is going to make it a 41-28 ball game with three seconds remaining. Another steal. Here goes Frey giving it up. And no. The attempt for Hilton Ed Prep there on that end. 
by number 11, Kane Eats, 41-28. HHP with the lead at the half over BA. Second half action of the guys game of the week next on WHHI. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner and Financial Advisor of Hilton Head Capital Partners, a local registered investment advisory firm. Since 1987, we have provided our preferred clients with custom portfolio management for growth and income. With the new presidential term, the investment market is an exciting opportunity for you to explore new horizons and options. Plus, don't forget working on your taxes and estate planning at this time of the year. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. When fire and water threaten your home, hand the cleanup over to the team that stays with you every step of the way in your journey back. Serve Pro, like it never even happened. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the Lowcountry. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you, Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center, and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Melichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Let's go outside again. Let's breathe in the fresh air. Let's hit it out of the park. Let's be human beings again. To run and jump and play. We'll talk and laugh as loud as we can. Then we'll laugh some more. Because the YMCA is here and we're ready to welcome you back. 41-28 is our score. 15 points for JJA's three rebounds. John Cusano, 11 points, five rebounds. A block, two steals. Braden Deneen, four threes to add to his 16 points, or to be part of his 16 points. And Amari and Wilson, two boards so far as we start play here in quarter number three. Larry Jackamot and Maria Soden joining Kevin and I on the guys' game of the week presented by Summit Services Heating and Air here on WHHI Sports as that goes off the mark. And it's going back to the home team that's leading by 13 in Hilton Head Prep. There's a jumper a little bit strong for J.J. Hayes, and it's going back the other way to Buford Academy. Heck of a pass 
There from number five, Ezekiel Gonzalez, a little bit too much on it. It's gonna go out of bounds, 7.29 to go. Reminder, we thank our title sponsor for basketball, football, WHHI Sports Weekends every Friday or every Saturday and Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. at Summit Services Heating and Air, the leader in air conditioning, heating, and home performances in Hilton Head, Bluffton, Bluffton, and Beaufort. Thanks to Summit Services Heating and Air for all they do and supporting broadcasts of Youth Athletics on WHHI Sports. Sean Cusano and Wilson with five rebounds. A couple of blocks for Cusano so far. 41-28, 7.07 remaining. Cusano's an interesting kid. He came over from Virginia this past summer. Yeah. He's working on not just being the big that we've seen with the great handle, also getting those guard skills up and hitting the weight room. Here's number 11, Kane Eanes touching it. That pass goes inside and too far inside for even Amari and Wilson. I like seeing Wilson. goes up against us. Wilson didn't start the game. He did start the second half. And you see immediately they're trying to get Cusano in. They're running a zone here. So, yeah, they're trying to basically take away the middle and force these guys to shoot their way out of it. Bob Pinelli, Chad Bales, Ernie Mobley, our officials tonight. Again, Marcus, Kevin, Larry, and Maria with your nice pass going inside. Putting that up with the left hand. From right to left was J.J. Hayes, and he's going to fill up the bucket. 43-28, 6.30 to go in the third. There's a three from way downtown. Knock it down, fill it up. I'll take all three of those, says Ezekiel Gonzalez. 43-31. Here at the other end, that is a flush from Andrew Helms. The almighty equalizer. Back-to-back -back three point plays. We've got a third opportunity. No, Mickelson Law Firm making their money here in the last 30 or so seconds with two three point plays. Going inside, nice pass wow. from number three, J.J. Ace to Cusano. Cusano staying strong, put that up, count it. And number 35, Amari and Wilson says, really, it was on me? Yep. Now that was great defense coming to that last play. It was. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I like to see. You can't match that with anything but size. And Cusano going to the free throw line to try to finish up the Mickelson Law Firm three-point play. Number 11 checking out for Buford Academy. That is Timmy Horgan. 48-31, 5.54 remaining in the third. Let's hear from Mickelson Law Firm. Mickelson Law Firm, knowing their community and clients as they help to navigate life's trials. That's three three-point plays courtesy of Mickelson Law Firm in the last three possessions. Hilton Head Capital Partners navigating you to financial freedom. Very nice. Round the rim and out, trying to put it back and not going to go. A reminder that Island Foot and Ankle Clinic is one step ahead of your foot and ankle pain. 49-31, 5.35 remaining in the quarter. Here from Bacall Gymnasium, Coach Basirico Court. We hope to get Rich some uh, time on WHHI TV here soon. One of a kind. I thought you just wanted to get Rich. <laughs> I love this matchup. Nice go inside as moving inside is Cusano with a right hand. That touch is pure. Sean Cusano makes it 51 to 31 with 5-11 and counting remaining in the third. The kid has tremendous post game. It was 41-28, Hilton head prep at the end of the first half. 20 to 13 they led at the end of the first quarter. They lead 51-31 with 4.56 remaining in wow. the quarter. And a nice dish and put in there by Sully Gay, number 25, as he gets across the floor quickly, 51-33. I wouldn't attack post like that. I'd look out for this kid that can shoot, specifically Deneen. Cusano, beautiful passing going inside to Ryan McKell. McKell going to kick it from right to left on your television screen. Back to the top of the key. Cassano's been so dominant, it's kind of strange to see the other players get the ball in their hand looking to get up a shot. Helm's going to swing it over. There's a jumper a little bit too strong for J.J. Hayes. And it's going back the other way. Going hard is Gonzalez. Wow. He gives it up. Wow. And that's a beautiful play from right to left. And a beautiful finish for Braden Deneen. He had a heck of a first half, and he's continuing it. Thread the needle, baby. 51-33, yeah, and he does it all three sports. A quarterback here on the hardwood and certainly on the baseball field as well. There's a jumper off the mark. Rebound goes to Buford Academy. 
And it's going to go into number five, Ezekiel Gonzalez. There's a drive, Gonzalez, beautiful pass yep. inside. Put that up, and that is going to count for number 35, Amari and Wilson. And the big freshman is going to the line against 6'6", 250, and Kane Eames commits the foul. Checking in for Hilton Head Prep is Ben Frey. Checking out, I believe, was number four, Ryan McKell. Bob Pinelli, Chad Mayles, Ernie Mobley are officials. A little bit too strong on the free throw, 51-37. Hilton Head Prep with possession. 3.40 to go in a blazingly fast third quarter. Just like blazing buffalo wings. Plenty hot. Here's a nice pass inside. Put that up and in. Count it for Sean Cusano. Cusano, the power forward junior, 6'7", a buck 95. And it's 53-37. As on a drive, putting that one up and not getting it to go is number five on the other end, Ezekiel Gonzalez. Here's Cusano bringing it across the yep, floor. There goes. Wilson with the strip and the corralling of the basketball for oh, no. number five, <laughs> Ezekiel Gonzalez. That came up a little bit short, a missed layup. Maybe a three, left wing, a little bit strong. From number two, Ben Frey. Rebound goes back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to get around Sean Cusano. He gives it off, and it's number 12, Braden Deneen with it. And a whistle with two minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the quarter. One foul each for these teams. Let me tell you my favorite thing I've seen from Deneen. It's not the shooting, it's not the intensity, it's not the way he wore a floor burn like the second play of the game. It's how excited he got when the Marion Wilson made a play. That's an intangible that you can't teach. You want a leader, look for somebody that gets excited when their teammates make a play. There's a three, a little bit bumpy, heading off the rim like a Rocky Road Sunday. 53-37. Nice illusion. And Hilton Head Prep with possession of the basketball, 2.21 to go. Did great, you, did great you defense, just say yeah. nice illusion? Illusion with an say, A. Rocky Road Sunday. Yeah, nice. you're making me hungry. <laughs> hey, that's my job, kind of. Kind of. Going inside, and that pass goes off the fingertips of a Hilton Head Prep player. 53-37. We're going to need a restaurant sponsor. 2.11 to go. Going across the floor is number five, Sean Cusano. His pass. And here's Sully Gay getting it back to Cus or, uh, number five at the other end is Ezekiel Gonzalez. There's Gay turning around, not firing. Cusano is so dominant. Oh. And Cusano couldn't corral that. Going back the other way, a missed shot. And we've got a whistle with one minute and 47 seconds left in a 16-point game at 53-37. Two fouls for the home team and uh, one for the visitors of Buford Academy. Hilton had prepped the home guys in the white, Buford Academy in the dark blue. That's gonna go off the mark, and the rebound goes to J.J. Hayes. J.J. Hayes gonna slow things down. One minute and 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Andrew Elms trying to guard and guide the offense. He wants the basketball back. Nice lead in off a beautiful pass and finishing is Sean Cusano. This might 55 be 55 37. Cusano, this might be one of his games to go out to uh, colleges because I tell you, this kid's having a, a stud game. He most certainly is. Dominating. 18 point lead, 109 remaining. There's a jumper. Knock it down. That is pure That's for number 12, Braden Deneen. Let's hear from Serve Pro. Serve Pro. I, I swear I went to school to read. Serve Pro, Buford County, faster to any size disaster, like it never even happens. Reminder, your Bluffton bike, sports, and fitness oh, equipment Cusano. store for over 20 years is sports addiction as Sean Cusano fills it up again. 57-39, that's an off-balance shot off the side of the backboard. Getting up slowly is number 10 for Buford Academy. That's Gavin Midyet, and turning around, putting it back in is Kane Eames on the other end for prep, 59-39. Cusano is showing a lot of emotion. We saw the big scream after that make. Team's responding to him. 20 seconds left. There's a jumper, Gonzalez. Oh, that is as pure a shot as Buford Academy's had all night. 59-41, 10 seconds and counting remaining. Hilton Head prep, last possession. Turnaround jumper, 
a little bit off the mark, attempted by Hayes. There is a wild toss across court. 59-41, Hilton Head Prep with the lead after three, back for the fourth on WHHI Sports TV. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner and Financial Advisor of Hilton Head Capital Partners, a local registered investment advisory firm. Since 1987, we have provided our preferred clients with custom portfolio management for growth and income. With the new presidential term, the investment market is an exciting opportunity for you to explore new horizons and options. Plus, don't forget working on your taxes and estate planning at this time of the year. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. When fire and water threaten your community, hand the cleanup over to the team that stays with you every step of the way in your journey back. Serve Pro, like it never even happened. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Melichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Want to give a shout out to Wayne Morris, the COO of WHHI Sports and TV and Burn Media as well. Going inside, putting that up, not getting it to go. Here on this inside near end, 59-41, 7.48 to go. Sean Cusano commits his first foul. The CFO of Burn Media is the great Dave Stribling and the CEO, John Byrne. Want to thank those guys for all they do to help us get these broadcasts to you on the daily. Thank you, Marcus. It's been a fun season. It certainly has. Thank you, partner. Always. As the ball's loose and it's picked up by Buford Academy, Daniel Court will be Hopefully back with us for football. Want to thank Daniel for everything he's done. And he's, he's got a lot of ventures in the arts and humanities industry with some theater going on as well. Driving inside, putting that up and in. Nicely done for Sean Cusano. And it's 61-43. He's got a very well-developed inside game. Our sales team of Jessica Surrett, Jessica Kirk, Susan Green, 
and Marty Student. They've been great helping get the sponsors set up for you, the fans, so we can bring these games to you. Thanks so much to those fine folks. There's a jumper, and it's ring around the rim and out, put back no, as number one, Andrew Hubs tried the three ball, and getting up slowly is Sean Cusano. He got another rebound right there. He's filling up that stat sheet. He most certainly is. And Sully Gate commits the foul. And heading to the free throw line as one of our officials is asking for a towel. Cusano's on the line. It's just that we're, uh, yeah, trying to get the yeah, court a little safer. He's trying to get, get things wiped up with his shoes. Safety first. Cusano, 22 points, seven rebounds, two blocks, three steals. J.J. Hayes, 17 points. And Braden Deneen, 20 points. And, and it looks like four threes for 16 of those 20. As that's what he had in the first half. Cusano at the line, 61-43, 6.37 remaining in the ballgame. He's a kid that wants to play at the next level. And just like a lot of the guys on this floor, they're good enough to get a scholarship. Yeah, without question. So I hope this is some good tape for you because, boy, the stat line sure shows it. And... Just from the guys under the hoop telling you, man, that's a good looking game this kid's got. Sean Cusano, welcome to the Low Country. Stick around for a while. 62 43, 647 to go, just five fouls in this second half. Three for the home team of Hilton Head Prep. They lead 63 43, two for Buford Academy. I like B.A.'s fight. There's definitely no give yeah. in spite of the scoreboard. Gate kicks it over to Timmy Horgan. Here is Ezekiel Gonzalez. Lots of like about Gonzalez. Uh, where number five kind of reminds me of Alonzo. But he got a nice yeah. little shot, good little handle. Here's B.A. with the basketball. Gonzalez swings it over to the left side. They're going to try to drive and a whistle. He went for a little walk. 6.01 remaining. Let's hear from Mickelson Law Firm. Mickelson Law Firm, knowing their community and clients as they help to navigate life's trials. And Hilton Head Capital Partners. Hilton Head Capital Partners, navigating you to financial freedom. Reminder that Island Foot and Ankle Clinic is one step ahead of your foot and ankle pain. And a reminder that Summit Services Heating and Air was our title sponsor for basketball, football, WHHI sports weekends every Saturday and Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. Also, they are the leader in air conditioning, heating, and home performance services in Hilton Head Island, Bluffton, and Buford. Thanks to Summit Services Heating and Air for supporting the broadcast of youth athletics on WHHI-TV all year long through football and basketball. Again, 5 to 8 p.m. WHHI Sports Weekends on Saturday and Sunday nights, and then every night at midnight following that, only on WHHI Sports. That's three fouls on Wilson. They give you five. You might as well use them. 63 43, 527 to play. Let's hear from Sports Addiction. Sports Addiction. Uh, you're a Bluffton bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. Nice rebound off yeah. the miss by number 12, AJ Barger. That came off of JJ Hayes. And here, touching the basketball, Ben Frey. Yeah, Swinging he... it from right to left on your television screen. Driving inside, putting up the shot, getting it to go right down the Broadway. Right down Broadway, I should say, is Sean Cusano. Green lights. 50, or rather 65-43. 4.55 remaining in the ball game. There's a jumper, nice that's shot. pure. Nothing but nylon for number five at the other end. That's Ezekiel Gonzalez. Cutting the deficit down to 20 with 4.43 remaining. I like Gonzalez and Deneen, and you know how I feel about Wilson. What a pass! Going inside, trying to put that up and in was J.J. Hayes. He didn't get it to go. As he had a little contact down inside as Ezekiel Gonzalez commits the foul. J.J. Hayes to the line for two. J.J. plays a physical game, and you see why. The kid's cut up. Reminder, make the superior choice with superior services. You know, there's some choices in life, Marcus. You can... You know, just go through the drive through and get a burger. But boy, if you go home and make yourself that steak. There you go. It's all about choices in life. You can choose to do what's lazier. You can choose to get in shape like these kids. Add you can some, choose. Add some mushrooms, some sauteed mushrooms. and. Well, you know where you and I are at in our careers. Sauce, yeah, absolutely. we're in the eating part of our careers. But, Indeed. But these kids are killing it. I got to tell you, this they're skill set. They're eating and then they're just working hard to work it off. 
now if the uh, to be young and play the game. 45. Yeah, you call this work, but boy, it's a fun game to watch. Oh, and these kids, very well coached, uh, definitely midseason form for both teams. And you see where the size really comes into play with the matchup we saw with, uh, there's a good three. There's a three, book it. And it's 67-48. Got to make John Hopman and Dan Durbin very happy as oh, yeah. well. The two headmasters of these fine institutions as Sully Gate just knocked down that three. Down to a couple of seconds, it looks like. Or there's some commotion going on as that jumper goes. Ring around the rim. Kane Eames knocks it down, 69-48. 3.58 to go in the ballgame. School of Dolphins over there in the fan section having a blast. And they this certainly is are. The mo it's also the most active bench in Skiza to be expected with Coach Faulkner. Going inside and not getting that possession to go for a bucket as being fouled inside was number five, Ezekiel Gonzalez. We want to give a shout out to Peg Hamilton. She sang the national anthem She's at the start of this ball game. She is one of the delights that it is to experience coming onto this campus. She also sold me my ticket as I got in the game today. There you go. Yeah. 69-48. Jack of all, Jill of all trades, yeah? Yeah. Going inside with a nice kick. That's a common foul. And that was a common foul. That was an awfully good looking three pointer, but didn't count. We're gonna go with the charity stripe. 69, 48, 328 to go. Ooh, we're not, I missed that one. We are not, it's gonna go back to Hilton Head Prep. And Prep with a big 21 point lead. You got some subs in here, but at the same time, they're just looking to pad up this kid's stat line. Go get it. As Cusano kicks it off. He's calling for a screen, he's not getting these. Gets it back, yeah, he, he wants the screen badly. He wants a ball screen, there it is finally. Nice. There he goes. Off ball He's though. gonna go yeah. inside. And end up not getting the basketballs, it's turned yeah. over. Gonzalez, lead pass, and couldn't finish. Trying to put it back to Sully Gay, he couldn't. A foul down in line, in, uh, in low. That's what happens when I try to say a foul down low and a foul inside. It comes up in low, and Sully Gay going to the free throw line. Sully Gay's having a pretty good game here. He certainly is. He knocks the first one down, 69-49. And it looks like a couple of guys checking out for Buford Academy. Gavin Midyet checking out and Jackson Porter checking out. It looks like that's going to be a game for Cassano unless they bring him back in for the stat line. 69 to 50, the season high back in December for Hilton Head Prep, 85 points. Don't think they're going to hit that tonight, but heck of a performance. 69 50. As they work it around from left to right, right to left, driving inside from the right side, not able to get that down is number 11, Kane Eames. He's been working hard all night. 2.27 to go, a whistle. Nice catch, Marcus. A little camera action. I knew that was coming this way. I, that's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Marcus just saved me. Nothing like tapping it back. I had to do that a couple of times. Well, actually, once. I was in college and we were set up very similarly to like how you and I are. I was doing the game on radio, doing play by play. I literally stuck out my elbow and the ball went off my elbow back onto the floor. <laughs> Another time, I actually got impaled by a basketball. <laughs> and, impaled and by have, a round object. And have lived to tell the tale. Marcus, 69 to 50, oh the choice of broadcasting hoops in college. My friend, you are a pro. 201. Good thing that the ball that got me, I was doing color commentary on. 85 points against these guys. 85 points as driving inside, putting it up and in. It's number 11, Kane Eames. 
Putting it up and in was Kane Eanes, and the 85 points came back on December 11th against the Habersham School in Beaufort. Putting that one up and not getting it to go was number 34. That is Adil Gonzalez. Gonzalez has been working. He does yeah, know he how has. to use his body. Both, he uses his feet Gonzalez well. Have. Oh, God. Well, the, I mean, the other one's been the biggest game changer on their offensive side. Um, I like him, and I like uh, you know, I really like that kid, Braden. 142 remaining. And yeah, yeah, the bench is coming in. The bench has all of their guys coming in. As again at the line, it's Adil Gonzalez. Got that to go. 71 51. I was trying to get to Braden Deneen, who's had a stud game in addition to yes, Gonzalez. No doubt. On a drive here is number 15, Connor Campbell. Kicks it on outside. Here is number 13, Jason Britschke. He had the foul committed against him moments ago. Nice pass inside. Britschke trying to finish, can't do it. Ball loose, picked up by B.A. They're down by 20, but still playing hard with 115 to go. That pass a little bit wobbly, and it's going to hit the baseline out of bounds. That's a good idea. Let's hear from YMCA. The YMCA, get in the game at your Buford Jasper YMCA. And a whistle with 105 to go. A reminder that Sports Addiction is your Bluffton bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. Make the superior choice at Superior Services. Checking out of the game is number five, Ezekiel Gonzalez. Nice game, kid. Absolutely. Checking out for BA is Sully Gay, and checking in for BA is number 24, Brandon Trapp. With, With the, the basketball right now is Devin Fripp, number three. Here's Trapp. Going to kick it over to number one, Devontae Green. There's a bucket from deep for number 12, Braden Deneen. Boy, that Devontae Green pass looked like a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. The skip pass to effect. 71-54, 38 seconds left. Again, want to thank Larry, Kevin, Maria, Jeremy, Joseph, and I'm Marcus for uh, everything this season. It was a fun season, Marcus. It, it has been for sure. 25 seconds left. Nice go inside, a little bump as number 10, Joe Wiseman, goes inside, gets fouled. He's going to the line for two. No easy buckets. Braden Deneen commits the foul, his second. And Joe Wiseman at the free throw line. Puts the first up. Rattle around, rock, rattle, and roll. Put that down, Joe Wiseman. Fans are happy to see him in the book. 72-54, 19.3 to go. Wilson will come back in. Nice game for that kid there, Braden Deneen. Again, Bob Pinelli, Chad Mayles, Ernie Mobley are officials for this one as we get ready to wrap it up. 54 points for BA, 72 <laughs> nice for take. HHP. Not able to get it to go on a couple of tries inside is Buford Academy. 10.6 to go and an 18-point deficit, but they looked ahead to the free throw line. Devin Fripp is an eighth grader, and that kid is that? fearless. Going right into the trees like a lumberjack. A Marion Wilson. At the line. Again, the five qualities for one head coach of Hilton Head Prep, Jerry Faulkner. Trust, collective responsibility, communication, caring for others, and pride. He definitely does a great job instilling that in everybody he comes across. Trying to turn these guys not just into players, but good men too. That's what Six matters. Six seconds left, that's absolutely right. And a lot of coaches do that in this low country. Down to one second, and they're gonna roll it on out. As last touching it was number 15, Connor Campbell. The final score, 72 to 54. For Larry Jackamont, Kevin Libby, the rest of our WHHI crew, I'm Marcus Walsh. Thanks for watching WHHI's Girls and Guys Basketball all year. So long, everybody. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive-through. 
And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Let's go outside again. Let's breathe in the fresh air. Let's hit it out of the park. Let's be human beings again. To run and jump and play. We'll talk and laugh as loud as we can. Then we'll laugh some more. Because the YMCA is here and we're ready to welcome you back. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner and Financial Advisor of Hilton Head Capital Partners, a local registered investment advisory firm. Since 1987, we have provided our preferred clients with custom portfolio management for growth and income. With the new presidential term, the investment market is an exciting opportunity for you to explore new horizons and options. Plus, don't forget working on your taxes and estate planning at this time of the year. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. And we welcome you back to the amazing campus of Hilton, Hilton Head Preparatory Academy. Coach Faulkner, you have been in this circle many a times. Congratulations on another big win. On Thank behalf you. of Summit Services, our presenting sponsor, congratulations on the big win tonight. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. They're the, they're the ones that need the congratulations. They, they do the work. Coach, you've been coaching basketball since 1967. What makes this team special, and what's the stuff that just doesn't go away? Well, I'll tell you what. I've been asked many times which is the best team. I never do say it's the best team, but I could not have chosen 13 better people to be on this team. Coach, you always preach that. We are aware you have a DVD on coaching. It, it's how people like us, when we get older, if you guys want to become coaches like Coach right here, you can actually impact some lives. Tell me about these guys behind you. Are there any of these guys going to be making, you know, maybe making the college ranks as athletes? Well, we, we try to teach them all the same thing. And uh, if they have, you know, it's got to be something that they, they work on on their own. We, we'll give them the directions. But those guys that make it have to do it uh, in the gym by themselves a lot. And, and whether or not they make it to the college level, we want to give them the best experience possible. If we got some kid out there watching that's just learning how to dribble, but they want to play for Coach Faulkner one day, what advice would you give them? Well, start early and get in the gym. No better place to be. It's fun to be a gym rat, right? Oh, yeah. I'd like to pay special attention to our two seniors. Yep. And uh, I'd like for them to say something they would right up here. Let's just give it. There's seniors. This is their house. Let's just give them some time. Fellas, tell us about what it feels like to be seniors on this court and uh, talk about coach, talk about where you want to go next. You know, it's, it's amazing, especially playing for Coach Faulkner. It's been the best experience. This is only my second year playing for him, but he has changed my life, not only on the court, but off the court. 
Um, so a big thing that we do is uh, called the thought of the day. And it's, it's a quote that pretty much is uh, a life quote. It has nothing to do with basketball. And it's definitely changed our lives for the better. Um, playing for coach has been amazing, not only for us two seniors, but for, for all 13 guys here. And we couldn't ask for a better experience. Every second matters, guys. Tell me about basically what you learned in your time here and what you would tell a young kid too. Um, just keep going. You know, I've been here for three years on the varsity team and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. He, he was injured November the 22nd and, and missed a lot. He never missed a practice. He never missed a game. He's, he was a true teammate. Coach, we saw that every time you guys made a shot, this entire bench was up. We caught it on camera. The culture here is incredible. It's a pleasure to be with you to share in a small part of it. On behalf of our entire WHHI broadcasting team, my name is Kevin Libby. We will see you next season on WHHI Sports.